Here's how to take the train to LAX, Los Angeles International Airport. I'm also gonna tell you how long each step takes. So there's a parking lot at the metro station. Some of them are free and some of them cost money. So I'm starting at 7.05 a.m. parking the Prius in the parking lot. This is the Metro C station in Redondo Beach and the parking is free there. Uh, two hour pass on your tap card costs $1.75 and you can buy a tap card from the machine if you don't have one. There's also reduced rates for seniors and veterans and then you just tap your card and load it up. I'm going to put $3.50 on it so I can go to the airport and back on that and then you just tap it, run through the turnstile, up the escalator and get to your train. So now I have entered the train. This is the last stop. So I'm starting at the end of the line. So it's pretty empty. There was just a couple of creeps sleeping on it. And what you're going to do is go from Redondo past Douglas all the way to Aviation LAX stop and then catch a bus when you get there. I'll put a link in the description to the full map and more information from them. So we are leaving the station at 7.17 a.m. So I had to wait a little while for the train to arrive. And then I get to the LAX station we have got to go down and look for a bus. I landed there at 7.26 a.m., so about 20 minutes after I started. And then downstairs, there are arrows and there are signs showing you where to get the bus to the airport. And also, if you don't want to take the train here, you could possibly ride a bike and lock a bike in a bike locker and then get on the shuttle from there. And the shuttle finally arrived at 7.37 a.m., so I'm 31 minutes into my journey, and I didn't have to show anything or pay anything or tap my card to get on the bus. It's totally free. Most of the people on it looked like they worked at the airport. They were in uniforms. And at 7.50 a.m., I arrive at the airport, and then I rip through TSA because I'm late, and I get on the plane at 8.04 a.m. I take a relaxing flight to Las Vegas where I see the world's largest foosball table, do some various trade show shenanigans, uh, pick up some swag. This is the best swag. How about the fidget spinner bottle opener? Uh, that is the best swag of the day. And then done for the day, same day, I have to fly back, get a good look at the Las Vegas Strip flying out of town, get a scenic view of the desert at night from on high, and then we get to fly over the house. Whose house? Ram's house. And then we'll start the clock again. So off the plane, and I step out and wait for the bus starting at 8.48. And it's real easy to find. They have these pink pillars that have a list of all the different shuttles that you can catch from the pink pillar. So we're looking for the M Metro connector one. And if you want to track it live on an app, you can even scan this QR code. And it'll show you a little map of moving rectangles and circles and squares showing you where your bus is. But it's pretty obvious when it shows up. You can see up on the front there, it says Metro Connector on the front. So we jump on it and we find that the bus lane moves a lot faster than the car lane, at least on this evening. It was super busy. So ride the bus all the way to the train station, get to the train station at 8.54 p.m. And then jump off the bus and then hit the tap card one more time. My last remaining $1.75 is gone. Now, looking at the parking lot, if you were considering parking at this station instead of taking the train to it, the parking lot is pretty full. So finally, at 9.38, uh, which is quite a wait, the train rolls up, and I'm ready, finally, to head for home. And then jump on the train, which is pretty empty at this point. And finally, reach my final destination at 9.47 p.m., so that's 59 minutes after I stepped out of the airport to wait for the bus. So just about an hour. Wait, who's train? Ram's train! So even the train is the Ram's train in L.A. Best believe it. Uh, so at 9.50 p.m., I finally get back to the lonely Prius. I find that it has not been stolen. It still has a catalytic converter, and I can safely drive home. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe.